Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the classic sci-fi comedy Spaceballs, which hit theaters in 1987. The movie follows the adventures of Lone Star and his sidekick Barf as they try to rescue Princess Vespa from the clutches of the villainous Dark Helmet. We'll be taking a look at the cast, from their time in the movie to where they are now in 2024, with a special focus on their ages and how they've changed over the years. So, let's jump into this nostalgic journey together. Number 15. Mel Brooks played two iconic roles, President Scrooge, the incompetent leader of Planet Spaceball, and Yogurt, the wise master of the Schwartz, a parody of Yoda from Star Wars. Born on June 28, 1926, in New York, Mel Brooks was 61 when he starred in the movie. Though Yogurt has a limited appearance, he's a pivotal character, guiding Lone Star on his journey. Yogurt represents wisdom and leadership, always emphasizing the line, May the Schwartz be with you, a humorous twist on the famous Star Wars phrase. Besides this film, Mel Brooks is known for other comedy classics like Young Frankenstein and The Producers, the latter earning him an Oscar. At 98, he remains a respected figure in entertainment, and he released his memoir, All About Me, in 2021, sharing stories from his vibrant career. Number 14. Rick Moranis took on the role of Lord Dark Helmet, the short but ambitious leader of the Spaceballs. Born on April 18, 1953, in Toronto, Canada, he was 34 when he appeared in the movie. Dark Helmet is known for his massive helmet and humorous yet ruthless personality. He often struggles with the ship's equipment and doesn't tolerate interference in his work, ready to punish offenders with a laser blast. Dark Helmet parodies Darth Vader from Star Wars with his exaggerated and comedic behavior. Despite his small stature, Dark Helmet tries hard to appear intimidating and powerful, leading to many of the film's funniest moments. Besides this role, Rick Moranis is also famous for other comedies like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Ghostbusters, making him one of the beloved comic actors of the 80s and 90s. However, in 1991, after his wife tragically passed away from breast cancer at 35, Moranis stepped away from acting to focus on raising his two young children. Now 71, he lives a private life, spending most of his time with family. Number 13. Dick Van Patten played King Roland, the ruler of planet Druidia. Born on December 9, 1928, in Kew Gardens, New York, he was 59 when he joined the film. In the movie, King Roland is a strict and traditional ruler, adhering to the established customs of his planet. Despite his respect for old values, his love for his daughter drives him to break all the rules to save her when she's in danger. Apart from Spaceballs, Dick Van Patten was well known for his role in the TV series Eight is Enough, where he played Tom Bradford, a father of eight children, navigating the challenges of raising a large family. Dick Van Patten passed away on June 23, 2015, at the age of 86 due to complications related to diabetes. His life and career are remembered for his warmth, humor, and deep love for family, both on and off screen. Number 12. John Hurt made a memorable appearance as a guest at the Space Stop 5 Diner. Born on January 22, 1940, he was 47 when he appeared in the movie. In the film, John Hurt's character is a cheerful diner patron with a great sense of humor. However, his character is famously known for the alien that occasionally bursts out of his stomach whenever he laughs, a humorous nod to his iconic role in the film Alien. 
Beyond this cameo, John Hurt was celebrated for his role in The Elephant Man, where he portrayed Joseph Merrick. Sadly, John Hurt passed away on January 25, 2017, at the age of 77 from pancreatic cancer. He is remembered as one of Britain's finest actors, with a career spanning over six decades, leaving a lasting legacy in the hearts of audiences worldwide. If you love this character, type one in the comments. Number 11. Bill Pullman took on the role of Lone Star. Born on December 17, 1953, in New York, he was 33 when he starred in the film. Lone Star is a free-spirited space pilot who doesn't appreciate being disrespected on his ship. He can be kind and noble when the situation calls for it, but he's not afraid to be tough and insult anyone who challenges him. Besides Spaceballs, Bill Pullman is widely known for his role as President Thomas J. Whitmore in the blockbuster Independence Day, where he delivered an unforgettable speech before the epic battle against the aliens. Bill Pullman's career has spanned various genres, from comedy to drama to science fiction. Now at 70, Bill Pullman continues to enjoy a successful acting career. Number 10. George Weiner played Colonel Sanders. Born on October 20th, 1945, he was 41 when he appeared in the movie. In the film, Colonel Sanders is the right-hand man of the main villain, Dark Helmet. He is a smart military officer, often stubborn and set in his ways. However, Colonel Sanders isn't naive. He can spot flaws and weaknesses in others and is aware of the hidden quirks they try to conceal. Apart from his role in Spaceballs, George Weiner has had a prolific career with hundreds of roles in both film and television. He's best known for his role as a lawyer in the TV series Hill Street Blues. Now 78, George Weiner continues to work as an actor. Number 9. Daphne Zuniga played Princess Vespa. Born on October 28, 1962, in California, she was 24 when she took on this role. In the movie, Princess Vespa is the sole heir to King Roland, raised in luxury and wealth. Vespa doesn't like following her father's orders, especially when they conflict with her personal desires. Beyond her role as Princess Vespa, Daphne Zuniga is also known for her role as Joe Reynolds on the popular TV series Melrose Place. Now 61, Daphne Zuniga continues to pursue her acting career. Number 8. Michael Winslow played the radar technician. Born on September 6, 1958, in Washington, he was 29 when he took on this role. In the movie, the radar technician is a crew member of Spaceball Eye, working under the command of Colonel Sanders. He's depicted as a radar expert, with the ability to detect and analyze system issues just by sound. Outside of this role, he's also famous for the Police Academy series, where he earned the nickname Man of 10,000 Sound Effects due to his talent for creating a wide variety of sounds using only his voice. This unique skill has made him a beloved comedian, not just in films, but also on comedy stages. At 65, Michael Winslow continues to perform, often appearing in live comedy shows, maintaining his reputation as an artist with a unique sound talent and unforgettable humor.
Number 7. John Candy played Barf, a very special character. Born on October 31, 1950, he was 37 when he took on this role. Barf is Lone Star's loyal sidekick, with half of his DNA being human and the other half dog, giving him an incredible sense of hearing. Barf can hear his boss's voice even in the noisiest environments, making him a reliable teammate in challenging missions. Barf's character is both friendly and funny, with a knack for trickery and quick thinking in many situations. Besides Spaceballs, John Candy was famous for a string of hilarious roles in films like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and Uncle Buck. He was loved by audiences worldwide for his natural and humorous acting style. Unfortunately, he passed away on March 4, 1994, at the age of 43, due to a heart attack while working in Mexico. Number 6. Sal Vescuzo played the radio operator. Born on October 5, 1948, in New York, he was 39 when he took on this role. In the film, the radio operator is a crew member of Spaceball Eye, responsible for reporting situations and communicating with other crew members on the ship. He's depicted as a dedicated worker, always striving to do his job to the best of his ability. However, in an unfortunate moment, he accidentally dials the wrong number instead of contacting Dark Helmet, leading to a painful laser punishment to his lower half, a classic comedic moment in the film. Besides this role, Sal Vescuzo is known for his work as a voice actor and for roles in various TV series, particularly as the voice of Father Mulcahy in M.A.S. Asterisk H. At 75, Sal Vescuzo has stepped away from major roles to enjoy a more private life. Number 5 Rhonda Shear played the woman in the diner at Space Stop 5. Born on November 12, 1954, she was 33 when she took on this role. In the film, Rhonda Shear's character is a sweet and friendly waitress at the diner. She's always ready to serve customers with a smile and often comes up with harmless nicknames for them, creating a fun atmosphere at work. She's also very knowledgeable about the menu and dislikes being interrupted while she's busy. Rhonda Shear is not only known for her role in Spaceballs, but she also gained fame as a TV host on USA Up All Night, where she became an icon of late-night movies in the 80s and 90s. She also became a successful entrepreneur with her own fashion line. Now 69, Rhonda Shear continues her business ventures along with occasional television appearances. Number 4 Sandy Hilberg played Dr. Schlotkin. Born on May 28, 1949, he was 38 when he joined the film. In the movie, Dr. Schlotkin is a doctor working for Dark Helmet, assisting him in his evil plans. This character is portrayed as a skilled surgeon but lacks professional ethics, often performing surgeries without much concern for the quality or the patient's health. Dr. Schlotkin's irresponsibility and indifference make him an essential part of Dark Helmet's sinister schemes. Apart from his role in Spaceballs, Sandy Hilberg is an actor and writer with a rich career in comedic roles. He's known for his contributions to films like High Anxiety and History of the World, Part 1. Sandy Hilberg is also the father of Simon Hilberg, the star of The Big Bang Theory. Now 75, Sandy Hilberg lives a peaceful life, occasionally appearing in smaller projects. Number 3. Tom Dreesen played the Mega Maid Guard. Born on September 11, 1939, in Illinois, he was 48 when he took on this role. In the film, the Mega Maid Guard is a crew member of Spaceball Eye, tasked with guarding the ship when Lone Star sneaks in. He's very concerned about his appearance, especially keeping his face clean-shaven, and frequently shaves to maintain a clean look. However, during one of his shaving sessions, the shaving cream accidentally knocks him out, giving Lone Star the chance to continue his infiltration without any hindrance from the guard. Besides his role in Spaceballs, Tom Dreesen is a comedian with a career spanning many decades. 
He was a close companion of the legendary comedian Frank Sinatra. He's loved by audiences for his stand-up comedy performances on popular TV shows like The Tonight Show and Late Show with David Letterman. Now 84, Tom Dreesen continues his comedy career, often performing and sharing humorous stories from his long career. Number 2. Brenda Strong played the nurse, Dr. Schlocken's assistant. Born on March 25, 1960, she was 27 when she took on this role. In the movie, the nurse is a mix of charm and professionalism, brought on board Spaceball I to assist Dr. Schlocken in the cosmetic surgery for Princess Vespa. Her presence adds humor and allure to the scene. Beyond her role as the nurse in Spaceballs, Brenda Strong is widely recognized for her role as Mary Alice Young in the hit TV series Desperate Housewives. Now 64, Brenda Strong continues to work in the entertainment industry while actively participating in charity and educational projects. Number 1. Tim Russ Played the Guard Born on June 22, 1956, in Washington, D.C., he was 31 when he took on this role. In the movie, the guard is one of Colonel Sanders' soldiers assigned to search for Princess Vespa in Yogurt's territory. This character stands out for his meticulous attention to detail and high discipline, always following orders precisely. He has a loud, clear voice and can maintain control of serious situations, not letting anything slip past his watch. Besides his role in Spaceballs, Tim Russ is best known for his role as Tuvok in the sci-fi TV series Star Trek Voyager. In addition to acting, Tim Russ is also a musician and director, showcasing his versatility and dynamism in various artistic fields. Now 68, Tim Russ continues to act, perform music, and direct, maintaining his status as a multi-talented artist. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed revisiting Spaceballs and learning some fun facts behind the scenes. Share your thoughts on this classic movie in the comments below and let us know which films you'd like us to explore next. We're always eager to hear your suggestions. See you in the next video.